Salvador C. Enfuegos, aged 72, who served as the Secretary of National Defense of Mexico and led the country's army for six years, was arrested on drug trafficking and money laundering charges at Los Angeles International Airport on October 15, 2020. The indictment that was filed on August 14, 2019, charges C. Enfuegos with drug and money laundering crimes within the years of December 2015 and February 2017. He's currently facing a minimum sentence of 10 years on drug conspiracy charges if found guilty. According to reports, the evidence obtained by agents links C. Enfuegos to a Beltran Leva cartel cell that mainly operated in Nayarit under the orders of Juan Francisco Patron, alias LH2. Patron, leader of the H2 cartel, which was an important cell for Beltran Leva that operated in Nayarit, was in control of the drug trafficking that occurred in both Nayarit and Jalisco in the Mexican Pacific region. The evidence against C. Enfuegos, which includes thousands of intercepted messages, reveals that in exchange for bribes, C. Enfuegos would assist the H2 cartel, ensuring that there were no military operations against the group, assuring initiating operations against rival groups, obtaining maritime transport for drugs shipments, and acting to expand territory controlled by H2 to Mazatlan and the rest of Sinaloa. He also reportedly introduced various cartel leaders to other corrupt Mexican officials, and even alerted a cartel of an ongoing DEA investigation, which resulted in the death of a cartel member who at the time was not collaborating with the U.S. agency. This collaboration allowed the H2 cartel to export thousands of kilos of cocaine, heroin, meth, and marijuana to the U.S. without interference from the Mexican army. This collaborative effort seems to have stopped around the same time as the death of H2 leader Juan Francisco Patron, which was the same month and year the U.S. seemingly alleges C. Enfuegos stopped his criminality. Patron was killed during an intense confrontation with the Mexican Navy that occurred in the capital of Nayarit in February 2017. The Mexican military cornered Patron in a house when his enforcers began a fierce shootout equipped with high-caliber weapons and grenades. From both land and air, the military returned fire, killing Patron as well as a dozen of his men. The investigation into C. Enfuegos, according to the New York Times, was initiated from the 2013 investigation into the apparent hair of the Beltran Leva cartel, Fausto Isidro Meza Flowers, commonly known as El Chapo Isidro. Isidro is regarded as the most intelligent and strategic leader ever in the drug war of Mexico. He's believed to be the reason Beltran Leva is still operating. His fierce loyalty, paired with his knack for strategic planning, has resulted in several victorious bloody matchups, where he defended important Beltran Leva routes in Sonora. Isidro and his enforcers, Los Mazatlicas, were responsible for protecting Guerrero, Morlos, and Guasueve for groups allied in La Oficina, such as Cetus and Beltran Leva, primarily against El Chapo. On one occasion, when El Chapo had sent a large convoy comprised of 40 vehicles with identifiable X's painted on the windows, carrying a total of 80 to 100 gunmen on a cleansing operation. Isidro had organized his men to block the entry and exit of the road on which the convoy was traveling on. Once the convoy neared the city of Sarek, Isidro's men opened fire on the enforcers, killing a large number of Chapa's men. The official number of fatalities was reportedly 21 at the scene and six who later died from their injuries, 
although Mexican media sources set the number as high as 50. Isidro and his family were last seen at a school basketball game, where a parent took a cell phone video of Isidro's wife and mother after the U.S. Treasury had designated Isidro as part of a Sinaloa-based drug trafficking organization. The family left the state overnight and have never been seen again. The FBI is currently offering a $5 million reward for information leading to his capture. It was during the 2013 investigation of Isidro that agents, using wiretaps, learned about General C. N. Fuegos collusion with Beltran Levis H2 faction. It's been reported that although C. N. Fuegos was identified by agents, there was pushback from both the Obama and Pena administration who stalled the investigation. By 2015, the pressure to do something about C. N. Fuegos increased. There were at least two separate wiretaps that picked up chatter about a powerful underworld figure who was referred to as Padrino or Godfather, who agents later identified as General C. N. Fuegos.